chaotic. So this is what happened. David Reynolds starts from pole position for the second time this weekend. Garth Tander here makes a really bold move at this first start. We took a big lunge on the inside. There he goes. And we thought that would be the drama of lap one. No, wrong. Watch this. Jason Bright gets pushed out wide. This is the first signal that something's about to go horribly wrong. Somehow Bright goes through, but plenty of others don't. Tim Slade, David Wall, Dean Fiore up on two. James Moffat in there. Lee Holdsworth as well. Alex Premer. Man, this was a big one. This is on board with Fabian Coulthard. That's the bumping between Bright, Slade and McLaughlin. They go off to the right. He gets through, but look at the chaos behind. There were so many cars caught up in this. And very lucky not to have more damage. The car's doing 190 kilometers an hour. That was Alex Premer. That's all the corrective surgery that needed to be done on the wall. And this is the restart. Very good start again for Dave Reynolds. But they left him out one lap longer to put soft tires on. Yeah. And that was the story of the race. And Rod Nash was saying it might have been in the pits, but it was clearly the on-track difference of performance between a soft and a hard tyre, and that's what gave Lowndes the advantage to clear him in the pit stop. Look at this for a tank slapper. That is a good save. Young Scott McLaughlin with Davison makes contact at turn four, and this is the wheel spin. So they had the wheel spin as the car was being dropped. This is James Courtney pulling off to the side of the road. Robbie Starr looking on, not happy about that. Courtney takes it in his stride. He's had a very good weekend, real resurgence for them. But Wing Cup was penalised, a 50-point penalty. So remember, that was a critical championship moment, and that could have been a catastrophic moment. Will Davison and Garth Tander touching down the front straight. So Wing Cup's day was done and dusted. <laughs> Ford Performance Racing Boys didn't mind that at all. And this is where Frosty started to charge. So he knew that he could uh, get past David Reynolds on pace. And unlike yesterday when it ended in tears, Winterbottom went through. However, this would end in tears and have been brewing all weekend. Chas Mostert and Todd Kelly push and shove and then turn and spin. And nobody wins out of that one. And then this gripping finale. We thought that uh, Mark Winterbottom could have got him down to turn five, but the wily old fox that is Craig Lowndes has seen turn five once or twice in his lifetime and he knows exactly where to go and he covered beautifully. But that's a good result all around, obviously, for Red Bull Racing Australia to get another win. They get uh, two victories out of the three this weekend with Mark Winterbottom, the other one. But